Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, tutorial number 12 related to the software RQDA. So this tutorial will be related about how to make some files category in RQDA. So okay, let's open RQDA here. And actually I've just opened a project uh, with some files that you can see here. And we'll see how to make files category. So first of all, in which situation do you have to do files categories? So I, would, I will give you some example. For instance, if uh, on the files like this one, you've got interviews. So interviews, basically you created the stuff yourself. And here I got news that I took on, uh, on the newspaper. So you can see that the interviews are totally different. It's a different source than the than the, the news. So what we will do is that we will make one files category for interviews and one for the news. So after maybe when we want to do code retrieval, maybe uh, I will just show you an example. I will click two times on news. So I, I've just took a random articles on, 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 on Google for the example. So don't care about what's written on it. But just I, I, I said that this, this this uh, text sentence is related to Facebook. And this text sentence too is related to Facebook. And the other one too is related to Facebook. And actually on all the other interview, I've also have, uh, not in all the interview, but in, in a lot of other interviews, I've got a Facebook. So if I'm going to the Facebook code and I will retrieve the Facebook code, I see here that first at all, I have the interviews. Well, let me make it bigger, yeah, like this. So all the beginning is about interviews. So Facebook code about interviews and the last one are related to the news. But the fact is that maybe you wish only to have some code retrievals about a special files category. And this is what we will do on this video, on, on the next video. So on this video, I will just show you how to create files categories and how to assign some files to the files categories. And on the next video, I will show you how to use the setting menu in order to uh, make some conditional retrieval. Okay, so you just have to go to files categories. And on this example, we will just uh, write uh, two files categories. So first will be called interview and second will be called news. So I'm just going here and I'm writing. I will just click on add, then I have this window and I just write uh, interview, sorry, interview. And on the second one, I will just write a uh, newspaper. But for sure, for instance, if you are working only on newspaper and uh, you have like many newspaper, you can make a uh, one, uh, instead to make a files category called newspaper, if you have only newspaper, you may just put the name of the newspaper. For instance, the New York Times, the Guardian, the, the Sun, or I don't know what. So, 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 so you're not necessarily need to, to write those kind of categories. Uh, this is um, yourself, you have to, to know which files categories is uh, relevant, whatever. Now we've created two files categories, but we didn't assign any of those files to any files category. So this is what we will do right now. But just before, I think you already understood, but here you can delete. So let's just create a random stuff here. If I'm not happy with that one, I just can press on it and delete. He is asking me if I want to delete, I say yes. After we can even rename. So for instance, let's put Let's rename this one and newspapers with S at the end and I press OK and you see I can rename it. And like before, I just can put a memo and this is once again a memo related only if you, if you, if you, if you do a memo to interview, this is a memo related only to the files categories. So this is a memo about the file category called interviews. 
whatever you just choose a memo then you can you, you just write what you want then you can save the memo and to check it again you can just press on a memo and the windows will open with the text that you've just opened and in case uh, every time on RQDA uh, just take attention about the title of the window because it's quite nice you can see that this is the files category memo related to interviews so that was just a small trick okay now I will ask the software to um, to ask uh, to, to put some files to the interviews so I just write I'm just clicking on add to and then I have a window looking like this uh, who opens and on this window I can choose uh, what I want to add so if you want just to add one file you you press on the file and you press OK and if you want to add all files you press Control and you maintain Control and you press the letter A and after you select everything or if you want just some of the files you may uh, press Control and choosing the files or even uh, if you want uh, if you want to, to add a kind of logical list, so let's say from here to here, you just uh, press the shift key and then with the arrow of the keyboard, you just go up and you choose what you want. And this is exactly what I want. I want all those files going to the interviews. So I press OK. And now I see that newspaper has still nothing in it, but all the files category all the int files category called interviews have a file related to interviews. So obviously I will, I will do the same with the next one. So on the newspaper I just write add to and here I just add the news. And in some case uh, you will see that this is possible. I will just add to. So let's say I add this interview here. So I added an interview on newspaper. So in this case, this is totally wrong because it's a mistake. This, is a sh this should be a interview and not a files category. So I just can, I, I just want to tell you, do not do the mistake. If you just want to, to, to delete this one, a file that is belonging to a files category, do not go to newspaper and press delete because this will delete all the files categories but don't worry if you just delete the files category it will delete the files category but it won't delete the the files itself but this is still annoying because if you want to delete only that one and all the categories is disappearing this is quite annoying so just to to delete just one file uh, in a files category so it will not delete the file but it will delete it from the files categories so you just press on this one and you press on drop from and then the computer says delete one file from file category are you sure so you press yes and you see that just this one has been deleted okay so this was all about files categories uh, you can even sort it by create a time or by alphabetical uh, position. So that's up to you. I just invite you, uh, like every time, just to, to do a small uh, press. Uh, just press on your mouse on the right click and just uh, go to check a little bit all the possibilities you can do. So it's just uh, advice I give you. Okay, so on the next video, we will see how to do a conditional retrieving. Uh, retrieval so one time for the newspaper and one times for the settings because as I said if I press on Facebook I've got all the interviews mixed with the news but on the next video I will just say hey you software give me all the opinion about Facebook but with a condition that's to say rather only the the newspapers or only the interviews we'll see that on the next video thanks for watching the videos cheers